Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and today I have a special video. This is a random act of kindness sent to me by a good friend, Diane. Um, she has been really wanting me to try this vendor, and I was like, it's kind of expensive. She goes, you have to try it. They're strong, um, and you're going to love the blends. So she sent me, here, I'll put this back let me put this in here. She sent me this cute little box. Look at this. Um, of wax. So if you've never heard of them, it's called Dexter Pores. Dexter is her dog. Uh, they are out of Mississippi. Ocean Springs, Mississippi. So... She just sent me some scents she knew that I would like. So the sample I have is Firework Popsicle. I'm actually not real keen on this because of the cherry aspect, but I did give it a sniff. And to me, there's less cherry and more lime in it. So I appreciate that. This will probably be one that I choose to warm on the 4th of July, which is coming up soon. This, this her Firework Popsicle is really good. Um, but usually, yeah, I don't really like this scent because of the cherry and the cherry usually seems so strong. I did my nails and you know, I, I, um, I dip my nails and then paint them. There's like dip powder all over this cause I had it sitting on the floor. Ugh, don't you hate that? All right. She sent me two of this one. I love this scent. Coconut shortbread cookies. So it's shaved coconut, melted butter, milk, sugar, freshly baked shortbread cookies. I love a good coconut shortbread cookie. And this one does not disappoint. So I have not popped out. I always like to smell the bottoms because to me it, um, I don't know if the scent settles or what, but I maybe because it's been in the clam, it seems more true. This is really good. Now, I could step up just a touch on the shortbread cookie part, but I bet you I could add maybe a bit of sugar cookie to bring out more bakery, but otherwise this is a really good coconut. You know that on a shortbread cookie, it almost, see shortbread cookies are what? Powdered sugar, butter, maybe vanilla. It's been forever since I've made a shortbread cookie, but so you kind of get that powdery kind of, of note to this. It's really good, really, really good. But if you need to increase the bakery, I would just recommend maybe a sugar cookie because I, I wouldn't want to overpower the coconut that's in it. All right, next one. Tutti Fruity. Isn't that cute? All right. Strawberry, banana, peach, and melon. I'm not a huge melon person, and I have smelled these, but look at this. It's got this little wax. That's that's just wax. So for me, this is not melon heavy. No, well, maybe. Oh, I got it on my lip. Actually, that just sniffed. I did smell more melon. Wouldn't be a video without Micah barking. My, my. My, my. Oh, you guys can't see my, my. Oops. My, my. See some my, my. Nope. I can't see Mike. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this does have more melon in it. I swore last night when I was smelling it, it was more peach, but I'm not smelling the strawberry or banana necessar necessarily, but it is just a really nice, oh, there's Mike. Fruity, fruity blend. Next one. <laughs> She's such a beast. All right, carrot cake. I put you some. My, my, there's no reason to bark, Bubba's. Okay, cakey, sweet, and spicy. Carrot cake with cream cheese. To me, oh, that, that's so cute. There's a little chick on it. For me, this one is going to be a fall scent. This is not going to be one that I'm going to want to, to warm during the summer. Because it, you have that carrot cake, you smell just a hint of like an icing note, but then you have the spices that really lends itself to fall. 
it's it's lovely. Um, I have a couple other carrot cake scents that I might, you know, kind of have a week where uh, I have breaks between them, but where I melt my different carrot cakes. So next one. Yep, they they are like covered in powder. My bad. Apple fritter. I love apple fritter scents. So some people seem to gear may, maybe more toward the pumpkin during the hot, you know, fall season. I am apple. I am apple 100% all the way. And this is tart, sweet baking apples with butter and cinnamon. And it seriously smells like an apple fritter. Because it all, you almost smell that, that dough note, but not like yeasty dough um because you get the, the cinnamon and the apple but it this isn't like an apple chutney kind of you know apple sauce kind of scent this is definitely like an apple fritter and it's delightful probably another one i will hold on to until fall okay next one banana zucchini bread yeah Banana pudding, whipped cream, and zucchini bread. Isn't that cute? Doesn't that look like a little Nilla wafer? I thought it was so cute. This is so good. Now, I've never smelled an authentic banana. I'll be honest. You, you just can't. So, um, this is so good, though, because it's mixed. You have the banana pudding, just like a, you know, you had Jif. Not Jif. Jiffy? No. Oh, well, whatever, the, the banana pudding, right? And you made a crust of like a zucchini bread, maybe mixed with something like a sugar cookie or maybe a, a vanilla wafer or something like that. And then you you put your pudding in there because it smells like the, the banana pudding. And then you put it on um, and then you cool it, you know, in the fridge, set it and all that. That's the feeling I'm getting with this scent. And I bet you it is going to smell so good when it's warmed with that zucchini bread. So excited. And then the main one, I think the reason why she wanted to send me this order, lemon poppy seed cake. You know my love of lemon. And this is so good. It definitely does not disappoint on the lemon. You smell, well, it says fresh baked lemon poppy seed cake. So you smell something. This isn't just lemon. It's not cleaner lemon. It's not bakery lemon. You smell something else in here. It almost smells like a grapefruit note. I don't know. It's, it's really, really good. I'm excited for that. So the fact that Diane sent me this, um, it really made my day, you know, uh, she sent, I was at work yesterday and she sent me a text, you got something in the mail. And I'm like, no way, you know, and I was so excited and, you know, got home and opened it up and it was Dexter pours. And I'm like, you know, the, I have made such true authentic friends in this wax world. Um, I live, you know, fairly sheltered, you know, and um, I don't need like a ton of like super close friends. I have my bestie and, um, but the people that I have met that are true and real and authentic and caring and loving, I mean, it's just, I have Diane, I have Susan, Lori, Ashley, um, Michelle, uh, and of course my beautiful, beautiful friend, Laura. Um, there's, there's more, but the world, the wax world can be challenging. Um, I have been hurt so many times that it's not even funny, but, um, when you find these true people, uh, Vivian, I, I know I could, I could seriously keep going. Angie, Angela, Jenny. I mean, I seriously, I could keep going, but, um, they make the world a better place, you know? Um, 
So I just want to say thank you to all my true friends that are out there. The ones who messaged me, um, who inquire almost daily how my mom is doing. And she's actually doing very, very well. She's has started talking. We didn't think that would ever happen, but she has started talking. She is still traked. Um, but the fact that she can start talking, it just, you know, it, it just is. But, uh, I want to thank all my, my wonderful, dear, true and authentic friends that I have met in this wax world. And it's for you guys that I record these videos. It's not for me. I was going to take a break and I'm like, but I miss my friends. I so miss my friends. And I will endure whatever I need to so I can still continue. Oh, Casey. Can't forget Casey. Oh, my gosh. Casey, my wax bestie. Um, I just want to th thank you, those of you who did reach out to me and ask me to continue recording. It's because of you guys that I, I do this, truly. Um, so, anyway... That's what I have for you. You're going to see me in a lot of shirts because honestly, I have quite a bit to record. Um, but anyway, make it a good day. Stay inside if it's hot. Drink your water. Yes, I'm still drinking my morning coffee, but drink your water. Stay inside. Put on sunscreen. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.